Hello fellow unicorns, welcome to part 3 of my Japan vlog and if you haven't seen the previous two parts please look at the description for the links and also you can click the little icon on the upper right corner to see the first in the series and of course the second is listed in the description. So this time we spent an entire day in Osaka's anime and cosplay shops visiting all of the shops that feature anime figurines, plushies, gachapons, uh, cosplay accessories and details and Animate is one of the biggest stores featured with this these items like this is a five-story building with so many different sections i visited japan during the halloween season so if you see a lot of halloween decorations don't be surprised and of course a lot of dvds merchandise of all sorts and kinds there was this huge boku no hero academia exhibit with some real panels from the show being featured with the cutouts of the characters in their natural height i guess i wouldn't say size because these are children and these cutouts tend to be really really huge one thing i will definitely miss about japan is their cosplay stores because all of the useful cosplay details wigs makeup and all of the accessories you can ever think of of course they had the best anime and manga art supplies and pre-styled wigs as well as fully made uh, cosplay costumes you can just buy off the shelf and wear whatever you want of course this little Harry Potter section was something that I was really surprised about and uh, since I'm a big Potter head I just had to record all of this in intricate detail speaking of wigs Swallowtail cosplay shop is one of the best places in Japan to go to I was blown away with the amount of wigs sorted in a perfect OCD order by color and length and we stumbled upon several smaller cosplay shops featuring doll parts, DIY doll uh, bodies and faces you can customize. We ended up uh, our daily routine with a walk through Dotonbori and I'm so grateful that I got to see this despite the typhoon. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you would like to learn how to draw manga please check out my book Manga Crash Course available in four different languages as well as my latest book Manga Crash Course Fantasy.